I'm making chicken and rice Thai style, or we call khao man gai. Let's take a look of all the ingredients. First is chicken. Today I'm using a whole chicken, but you can also use just chicken breast or chicken thigh. Next ingredient is jasmine rice. Here are some herbs and spice for cooking chicken. I'll use ginger, cilantro root, or you can substitute with cilantro stem, and we're using salt. And I'll use ginger, shallot, garlic to cook with rice, and it will be seasoned with seasoning sauce and salt. Here's our ingredients for dipping sauce. Preserved garlic juice, fermented soybean, ginger, garlic, chili, vinegar, sweet black soy sauce, regular soy sauce, and palm sugar. First, thin sliced shallot and minced garlic. Boil water and add salt, cilantro root, ginger, and chicken. Skim out the foam, but not the oil, since we'll use the chicken oil for cooking rice. Cook chicken on the low heat for at least 30 minutes. On the meantime, we'll prepare the sauce. In food processor, add cilantro root or stem, ginger, chili, garlic, palm sugar, soy sauce, salted soybean, garlic pickle juice, sweet black soy sauce, and salt. Transfer blended ingredient to mixing bowl. Add vinegar and water. Adjust the flavor per your preference. We'll look for salty and sweet taste with the hinder of vinegar. After cooking for 30 minutes, transfer chicken to the ice water bowl. It's a technique to stop the cooking, locking the moist to make the chicken juicy. When the chicken is cool, remove from the water. Brush the skin with the cooking oil to keep it moist. The last part is cooking rice. Stir fry ginger in the low heat. After one to two minutes, add shallot. Cook until smell the aroma of shallot. Then add garlic. Continue to cook until garlic turn light brown. And add rice. Stir fry and blend the rice with the rest of the ingredients. Add seasoning sauce for flavor. Stir fry until all ingredients mix really well and the clear jasmine rice start to turn white. Transfer the rice to the rice cooker. And add chicken broth. Try to use the most of the chicken fat part to cook the rice. It will keep the rice moist, tender, and very flavorful. Use the same amount of broth as you normally cook rice. For Thai rice cooking, we'll use water or broth at the same level as your first line on your index finger. The rice turned out really nice, not sticky together. Chicken is very tender and juicy. Khao Man Gai is a one plate meal serving both chicken and rice and also sauce in the same plate. Add extra ginger and chili if you like it spicy. It normally serves alongside with cucumber and a cup of warm chicken broth. Kamangai is one of the most popular one plate dish in Thailand. Thai people will eat Kamangai for either breakfast, lunch, or dinner. 
The soft chewy rice, the juicy chicken, and the tasty sauce really make this plate very popular. I hope you won't get discouraged after seeing the ingredients list. It's so worth it. And I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please give a like, subscribe. I'll see you for the next video.